So after searching the far corners of the internet, I wanted to unearth five sneaker brands that you may have never heard of. This is by request from one of my previous videos. Thank you, Soundless Peel, and everybody else that thumbs up that suggestion. This was not an easy task, though. There are many brands that have come and gone and resurfaced once again and then went back away. And also, there's the brands that I'll mention in this video that people will be like, what? That's like my favorite brand. Hess Kicks is an idiot. In any case, here are five sneaker brands that the majority of us have never heard of. And while I have your attention, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. It is free and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of when other videos go live. Also, if you have suggestions for more top five videos, feel free to leave a comment like Soundless Peel did and then I will check them out. What is going on guys, Hess Kicks here from CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals that I curated, check the link in the description and happy shopping. I did have a couple runner-ups that I wanted to mention before we get started in the video. We have Arc Originals, there's another brand called People, and another brand actually called Buddy, Buddy People. And then also there is a brand called Hoka, which is a running sneaker brand. But there's a bunch of different sneaker brands that we haven't really heard of, and it may warrant a part two of this video if this one does well. So if you think of any other brands that I did miss, just leave a comment in the comment section. Let's go ahead and get into the top five. Starting off at the number five spot is a brand called Carhu, and I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly, but it is a Finnish sports brand, and Carhu actually means bear in Finnish, which is the reason why they have the bear logo. And this company actually has a long-standing history. It actually started in 1916 and was used as a sporting goods brand. This company uses a technology known as Fulcrum, and it was developed in the 1980s. And they also do have an Originals line that caters to more of like a retro runner vibe, and that's pretty much how I recognize the brand. But here's a fun fact. In 1951, Carhu actually sold the three-stripe trademark it had been using to a little-known German brand called Adidas for the equivalent of 1,600 euros and two bottles of whiskey. And then in the 1960s, Carhu began using the M logo, which still is used on the shoe today. An interesting brand though, and they definitely make some pretty cool sneakers. They don't have a really strong presence in the US though, but maybe eventually this is just one of those shoes that will get enough collaborations or something that can actually generate some steam for the company. Number four, we have a company named Scora that was founded in 2008. I believe Scora was actually founded in Portland, Oregon, where I'm from, which is pretty cool. And it's actually something that I've never heard of until I started researching for this video. So I definitely need to look them up and see if I can find them in store. Some notes from their side, it says, at Scora, we view real running as running how nature intended, efficient, effective, and with ease. So they basically like the natural feel of running, not a bunch of cushioning in the bottom of the shoe. And I can kind of get that because honestly with boost and everything else, it's great because it has shock absorption but you don't strengthen your foot and your core and stuff as much when you walk in those type of sneakers versus the barefoot uh, runners. One of the shoes actually look pretty cool. It says that they're built to withstand any workout as well as has a sophisticated look for around the office. They do have a goatskin leather upper, which looks pretty cool. And it's, and it's nice that they have some quality materials on the products. Their products, however, are only sold on their website, which is probably why you haven't heard of them too much, but it does look like a great company and maybe one worth checking out if you are into the natural type vibes. <laughs> The number three spot, we have a company called Number 288. And this was an interesting brand that definitely caught my eye. At first glance, it looks like a fairly standard casual men's shoe, but when you look a little bit closer, you see quality craftsmanship and some cool stitching on the back, which actually is the Roman numerals for the numbers 288, which I thought was really cool. Unfortunately, while it looks like the company had a big push in 2015, they don't have any posts on their Instagram since 2017, so it may be too late to actually purchase these sneakers. It's pretty unfortunate because the product looks looked really nice and it had very high quality premium leathers and it's a shame that the brand just didn't pick up steam and just continue to grind through and create more of the product and more awareness about it because today it would be a shoe that I'm actually kind of interested in buying. <laughs> Number two spot we have Crossover Culture. That's actually the name of the brand. In a saturated market of basketball sneakers, this brand really has my attention. While I really don't love the name, it sounds a bit generic in my opinion. The logo is exceptional, however. Also, the design of some of the models are very stylish, even the ones that were built for performance as a primary function. Sort of reminds me of like a newer, more stylish Wave Wade model. Some words from the brand, it says, we believe sneakers should be designed with a different philosophy, fit and feel, comfort and confidence is key. Your footwear should meet you at every point of your game, the perfect balance of cushioning and court feel, speed, stability, power, quickness. Crossover culture sneakers are built for the new crossover game. For some reason, I think of cross colors when I think of the name of this brand. I wonder if Nightwing has reviewed this brand or not yet. I don't remember seeing anything. But for a newer company, they also have a pretty large variety of models, unlike Big Baller brand. 
CC looks like they have a better foundation to move forward without any star power. All right, we made it to the number one spot, and if you guys are enjoying the content, please drop a like on the video. It is greatly appreciated, and it shows me that these videos are worth creating for you guys. The number one spot goes to CVs. I know a lot of you guys are like, why is this the number one spot? Well, I found that there was a long-standing history of this company that was so interesting, it was definitely worth sharing. You see, CVs was actually founded in 1964 by BF Goodrich, the tire company, which, like many use their rubber in their footwear. The BF Goodrich sneaker division was actually purchased by Converse in 1969. However, in 1971, the Justice Department declared it was a monopoly and Converse shut down CVs. So for almost 40 years, the brand remained dormant until Steve Tiller was actually walking around Tokyo and found a vintage pair of CVs in a thrift shop and then he started researching the roots of the company. He ended up buying the company and started producing CVs again in 2010 in the original form of the 60s. So if you've seen this brand and thought it was a ripoff of Converse, it's just fun to know the history and why they actually may look similar. It seems like these shoes are sold everywhere, but it's a brand that I just never recognized before. So now that I have said the name and looked at the shoes, it's probably something that I'm gonna see a lot more of. And who knows, their success is probably really big. It's probably gonna get bigger as the years go on. Anyways, that is my list. What did I get right? What did I get wrong? What did I miss? Leave a comment in the comment section. Also again, subscribe for more sneaker related videos. And if you guys wanna click the screen at this time and watch any of my other videos, thank you guys for stopping by. Catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace guys.